Hello, I'm Kathy Duplantis, and I'm so excited that you're joining me today in Studio C for Glorious Living, because today you're going to get instructions and tools on how to change not only your life, but someone else's too. You know, every time we come together, it's such an exciting time. I believe that God always shows up and gives us wisdom and direction. I'm so glad that we get this opportunity together. I'm so glad Chrissy's always here with me as yes, well. Yes, ma'am. So excited what God is doing in so many lives all over the world, right here in Studio C. We're charging each other up for Jesus. That's right. And you know, God wants us to come together and we come together in person. But I believe that there's something that happens that gets communicated right there through the screen, wherever you're watching. I believe that you are going to get charged up and strengthened in the Lord today. Yes, and so many are being blessed continually as they watch Glorious Living. So thank you. If you watch all the time, you're a regular viewer. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're brand new, stick with us. Every week we have awesome content That's for right. you available. And I have a great testimony from a Glorious Living viewer. Oh, good. I'd love to share this. It says, greetings from Florida. I've been watching Brother Jesse for the past two weeks, and I must say I have been blessed. Yesterday was my first time watching Glorious Living with Sister Kathy. I'm going to four that video to my son and daughter-in-law who are believing God for a home. There was a gentleman on the show giving his testimony. He had such a calm and gentle spirit and he was sharing how he and his wife were able to build their dream home. I think what blessed me so much also about his testimony was how in his new home he was able to have a room for his granddaughter who was attending college and living with them. That resonated with me because I just recently prayed asking the Lord about a home of my own. I want to have a place where my children can come and feel blessed. I believe God. I'm grateful and I will be tuning in to Glorious Living again. I just want to thank you both for your transparency and true faithfulness. I thank you for what I'm learning. Well, we hope you're watching this right now. How That's awesome so would that good. be? Yeah, because today we have that very precious man today. We're going to welcome back Pastor Ronald Fortune. Ron is our outreach pastor here at Covenant Church and he's with us, with us today to share how our Covenant Church soul winning team recently went out into the streets proclaiming the gospel and saw over 200 156 people give their lives to the Lord. Welcome back, Ron. Yes, thank you. Thank so you for exciting. Me. It's, yeah. it's, I mean, it's, it's been great. I mean, uh, yeah. the reaching people, because I mean, these days now, I mean, people need Jesus. Oh, yes. They, do. they need Jesus, you know. And so, you know, yeah, so we, you know, the last, what, couple of, few weeks ago. And so we went out in the streets. So the first time we went, so we had a class, you know, on taught how, to, how to reach people, yeah. training, how to teach, how to reach people. And so we went to Walmart. And in 30 minutes, 30 people gave their lives to the Lord. Wow, yeah. how amazing. And it's the, the, the script. I mean, it just, it's so easy. It's yeah. the, way, the way you do it. I mean, it's, a, it, it's, it's well, tell us about not feeling. It. So we go out. So when you're talking to somebody, you kind of like look for, you know, maybe they got a, a nice cross on, you know, nice cross like on. Or yours, something like yours, right there. Yeah. That is a nice cross, Pastor Ron. <laughs> well, I was looking at it. Yeah, nice. this is the nice pastor that testimony was all <laughs> yes. about. Right here, Mr. Ron, in the flesh. With the gentle spirit. There the he is. The gentle spirit. <laughs> and so, of course, the gentle spirit, when he uh, approaches people, they're, they're disarmed. Yeah. They're, what, would the, what would this nice man want? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. It's the truth. All right. So you just walk up to him, you know, you, and that's what you, you try to find something that you can talk about. Yeah. Right. You know, and so you look and say, that's a nice cross, you know, and they'll say, well, thank you, you know, and they say, you're from this area? And then they'll say, well, yeah, I'm from, you know, Destrahan, I'm from, you know, New Salty. And I say, well, you know, you go to church in this area, any, 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 any church that you belong to? And some of them say yes, some of them say, no, nah, I ain't been to church in, in quite a while. And then comes the question, you know, the question is, so if you were to die today, maybe 15 years from now, if you were to die today, where would you go? Mm -hmm. And the answer, most of them, heaven. I'm going to heaven. And so the question is, are you sure? If God was standing at the door and his question to you would be, why should I let you in? How would you answer? And most of them say, well, because I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. I'm a good person. I've done good. I've done good all my life. But that's not the answer, you know. And so, but you don't tell them that's not the answer. You just say, you know, the Bible says, for all have sinned. And then it says the wages of sin is debt, but the gift of God is eternal life. Mm -hmm. It says whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I say you can know today for sure that you're going to heaven. Right now you can know. And you see their whole face change. Mm -hmm. And I say, say this prayer with me. And they say the prayer. We take their name and, and, and number. We call them later on. You know, but you see the, the change in their lives. Mm -hmm. 
And, and they, they just know. need the opportunity. They need wow. someone right. to, right. to love them enough to, to tell them the truth. Right. My, my daughter posted something on social media I, I saw, I don't know, it was recently, and it's a picture of the Terminator. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> and his hand's out there, and he says, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> and isn't that what you're really doing? Yes. You're yes. telling people, do you want to live for eternity? Come with, let's pray this prayer. Right. Say, and how simple is that? It is so right. true. God just, made it so simple. And, and your team that goes mm -hmm. with you, they, they've been energized because, right. you know, for years now, we've been going into the neighborhoods. Once a month, you bring a team of mm -hmm. people, uh, and then y'all go door to door. And you've right. had some great progress. You prayed for a lot of people. Right. But this takes it up like on steroids. It goes oh, to yeah. another yeah. level. And it's, and it's something I've been praying about. You know, yeah. I mean, I've been an evangelist for, uh, I would say, probably 30-something years. Mm -hmm. You know, God called me to do this, you know. And so, you know, when I first did it, I didn't want to do it. I was an introvert when I was growing up. You know, and I, I was afraid to talk to people, you know, even in the military, I was afraid to stand as a sergeant, afraid to stand up in front of people mm -hmm. to talk. And so, you know, one day, actually, I had to have I had to give a class as you know, I was in leadership training. And so I had to give a class. Mm -hmm. And so you had to give a five minute class. So the drill sergeant, he gets up there and he shows like how to do this five minute class. He does it with an ink pen. I mean, five minute class with Aimpin, he starts talking about how you hold it with your fingers and how you begin to press the button simultaneously. So he went through the whole thing five minutes. So that night, you know, I'm practicing what I was going to teach. I forgot what I was going to teach on. But, you know, I begin to, you know, practice standing in front of the mirror. I got up there, you know, after they called my name, after the first guy, I get up there and I, they called my name. Sergeant Fortune, it's your turn. I get up there shaking like a leaf. I could not say a word. The only how, thing came out of my mouth, you, you know, I was what? 20, 20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that came out of my mouth was my name is. They literally had to come and get me and off the off. platform. Wow. What a transformation because you know? he say. preaches up a storm at Governor Church. Yeah. <laughs> you've watched. I always want to say a storm for the devil. Amen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but, but I mean, and, and so when I got saved, when I gave my life to the Lord, you know, God wanted me to go in and preach, you know, to this at, at this tent meeting. And I was like, oh, no, Lord, that's not, that's not me. And so that night, you know, I kept hearing the Lord saying, go, go. So that night I went, I went and went in my, my room and I sat down and I just began to talk to the Lord. And he said, this is what I want you to do. Wow. And so that morning, you know, I talk, called a guy and say, I'll do it. And so I went and so I began to share my testimony. Cause I mean, I, I didn't know, I didn't know what, what preaching was. I mean, I was just, I just got saved. And so I began to share my testimony. At the end, God just put on my heart to give an altar call. And I was like, I don't know how to do that, Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, so, and so he began to, you know, give me all the words. And at the end, everyone in the tent, over 100 some people, gave their life to the Lord. Oh, praise, praise God. God. What you a know? confirmation of, mm -hmm. of the calling that God mm -hmm. placed on your, on your life to be an evangelist. Wow. And you do that through different ways here at, at, at Covenant Church as, mm -hmm. as well. I mean, you do every week you go to the, the nursing the home. The nursing home. In fact, I think you went there this morning. Right. And, and you bring was, a message of hope to those beautiful. people mm -hmm. who can't come. Because, right. you know, a lot, God told us to go into all the world, mm -hmm. and we sit in the church and say, come to us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we have a church. We're ready more people to come to us, but we also go. That's and right. you do that every, every week Amen. to that nursing home. So, so this morning, right? So yeah. I, I, was, I was going to email. I said, well, that's too much to email. Okay. So I this morning, yeah. so they had this one guy. So the first time I went there, which was about, about a year ago, you know, he came in my face and told me, said, you know, I don't believe in God. Mm. I was like, okay. But he kept coming. Is this coming. a worker or a resident? No, this is a resident. Mm -hmm. So he, he comes every Monday. You know, he comes every Monday to hear me, you know. And so he sits there and he looks at it with this, this you know, you know, <laughs> this mean face. Mm -hmm. And so the last, I guess, month or so, his face started changing. Wow. Well, this morning, I used the script. Okay. So after ending the message, I kind of used the script, you know. And I said, you know, I can walk out the door and something happens to me. I know where I'm going. I'm going to heaven. Right. My question is, where are you going when you leave here? Mm -hmm. If you were to die today, where are you going? Wow. And I saw his face, his face began to change. And so at the end, so I say, say this prayer with me. You can know for sure today that you're going to heaven. Mm -hmm. And I begin to say the prayer. And I mean, I hear his voice. Mm -hmm. That's how loud he said it. Wow. That's beautiful. And I can, and come to find out, Today is his birthday. He oh. made 90 years old. Oh, my goodness. He made 90 years old. And so he gave his life to the Lord today. On his yeah. birthday. And so when I was leaving, he took the shortcut. So I opened up the door for him. He said, I can't wait to see you again. Mm -hmm. Please come back. 
life change. Yes. And I've been praying. I've been praying for this guy since it started. Yeah. You know, because of what he said. He said, you know, I don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. That. That that it wouldn't go away for me. Why? Why don't that you? That was really a God? cry for help, yeah. wasn't mm -hmm. it, Ron? He's he he may have had disappointments. Maybe yeah. he'd had encounter with uh, right. people who really didn't know God. Maybe they claimed to know, but here he encountered you and watched right. you for a whole year. Yeah, a whole year. And you were faithful. Mm -hmm. You'd go there every yes. week. Some weeks, I think once in a while, you'd miss because of something they were doing right. or one thing here. But for pretty much 50 weeks, he's probably seen you there. Yeah, and he's been coming faithfully. Mm -hmm. He's there every time. Wow. You know, that and it's is just amazing. this time is, I don't know, maybe it's because of what I said. I know it had to be the Spirit of God. Yes. The way I said it, I mean, you can see his face begin to change. But he said that prayer so loud. Yeah. And I was like, Yes, Lord. Oh, well, they have a revival mm -hmm. in that nursing home. Amen. 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 <laughs> and you didn't give up, which I love right. so. It's so beautiful because a lot of our human instinct, if somebody had that face all the time, that mean look mm -hmm. or looking at you, why are you right, here again? Right. I mean, naturally, a lot of us would go, I'm, well, this guy doesn't want to hear what I have to say. I'm wiping my hands of this. I don't need this in my life. But you kept praying right. for him. You kept showing up. And like Pastor Kathy said, we don't know what he had to face, what right. he went through right. life to make him turn his back on the Lord. But you came in with that light of God. Amen. Amen. And the right, it was the right day, the right moment on his birthday. And it's his spiritual birthday too. He's 90 years older yes. than natural, but one, old, <laughs> one year old and in the Lord. Saved, <laughs> one day. One day. One day. But how amazing is mm. that? And we can do that each and every day. Just some people might be watching saying, well, I'm not a pastor or I don't have, I'm never in those type of environments, but we have an obligation as children of God to reach yeah. out to people in our lives, correct? Well, well, the thing is because the Bible says as a believer, that's our job. Yeah. It's our job to go out and, and, and preach the gospel. It's our job to, to bring people into, from the kingdom, mm -hmm. into the kingdom of God. Because the Bible says to go into the streets and compel them mm -hmm. to come in. What is, what is it going to take to bring people into the kingdom of God? And I, and I think, you know, the, the people that came here and, and, you know, gave us to show us how to use this script. Because I'm telling you, when you walk out in the street, you can walk up to anybody mm -hmm. and they'll give their life to the Lord mm -hmm. just that fast. Yeah, that was during yeah. the Flashpoint event that came yes. into right. our church at mm -hmm. the ministry so in October. Mm -hmm. And uh, they trained our, our right. church mm -hmm. on how to do this. And we did it four days in a row. Y'all had intensive training plus actual practical on the right. street training. Mm -hmm. And we're not abandoning that. You know, anytime when God brings you new instructions, you don't toss that aside. You build upon that. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. so we're going to add our own flavor. We've already revised all the documents and the papers mm -hmm. they gave to its personal to Jesse right. Duplantis Ministries and Covenant Church mm -hmm. so that we'll be able to connect with them. And we're thankful for Kenneth Copeland Ministries who brought that tool to Amen. us Amen. and they gave us a permission to make it our own and, and fix it up, uh, print them up ourselves. Amen. So we're going to go with that this next time you go out Amen. with the team. Amen. And I so believe I mean, that they're going to see results oh, yeah. and we're going to get testimonies. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because I mean, we went out, so we went to Walmart, then we went to the mall. You know, for me, it was kind of, you know, strange. I mean, I don't mind walking up to people, but you're in a crowd. I mean, this is a crowd. Yeah. And so we had this nine-year-old girl with us. And so they had about I guess probably about eight or nine teenagers sitting there. She walks right in the middle of them. She said, can I ask you a question? And she went through the whole thing and every last one of them gave their life to the Lord. I remember they came, wow. she came from Nevada with her family mm -hmm. specifically oh, wow. for that. Right. That's so winning outreach because mm -hmm. she feeds on, she's a little young evangelist. Oh yeah, nine she's, yeah years she's old. a little fireball, oh yeah. So she <laughs> kept coming to me, she kept saying, I got 10. I got 15. Oh, my gosh. She got up to 35 people, you know. Just that one just child. That, and yeah, just that fast. Mm. In know? one day? In one day. What yeah, a that harvest. Was, that, was, that, what was a harvest less, that was less than one hour, mm. you know. And that, so, yeah, I mean, it's. That tells you yeah. what kind of harvest yeah. field we have right. ahead of us. You know, we're at the last days, the last of the last days, I believe. And I believe that people's hearts are ripe. And so when we. Uh, pray like you've prayed before y'all go mm -hmm. out, but God gives you the wisdom instructions right. on, on, on who to speak to mm -hmm. and what to say, right. and then they have the opportunity. You know, I believe that there may even be some that when y'all talking to them, they may shy away, but it doesn't leave them. Yeah. Right. And right. then, so, because the Bible says that one plants a seed, another one waters, but God brings the increase. So you may mm -hmm. plant that first seed, and even if they don't 
respond. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm saying this because I know many times people get discouraged when they plant a seed or they say a word about right. God mm -hmm. to someone and it seems to be rejected. Don't give up because God will bring someone else yeah. uh, along and then they'll plant a seed mm -hmm. uh, again. Actually, they'll water that seed. That's right. And then God will bring the increase. Sometimes right. it takes a couple of waterings yeah. before I mean, it comes up. It took up. my wife three years. Uh, <laughs> so, How long did it take you? You're laughing at her. <laughs> How long? She, she reached about, you, right? She, yeah, she reached me, <laughs> she but for her, I mean, I guess it didn't take no more than a couple of months. Three years. Yeah, because yeah. she kept, you know, she kept at me, you know. But, wow. you know, when she, when, when we were in Germany, you know, so she came to visit. So I had a, a sister-in-law. So my sister-in-law, you know, you know, she loves the Lord. So she decided to take Pia, you know, Pia's my wife. She decided to take her to one of the Bible studies. And so Pia said the prayer. I mean, she was German. She didn't really understand a lot what was being said, but she said the prayer. But later on, I mean, probably about a year or so later, she just, she kept turning on the TV to, you know, a Christian, you know, television show. And so after the three years, I mean, because she kept listening every now and then. So before we left Missouri. So watering kept happening. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so I mean, somebody planted. But God had already planted you know, a seed yeah, in there so for the her. so the seed was planted. And so these people, you know, on the TV kept watering it. Yeah. And so before we left Missouri, Pia said, I'm not leaving here till we buy a Bible. Wow. And she refused to leave Missouri without buying a Bible. Mm -hmm. And so we bought the Bible. When she was driving, I would read the Bible. Didn't know what we was reading, but we was reading. Yeah. And so when I was driving, she was reading. And we did that all the way back from Missouri wow. to Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And so, but I mean, I was still doing my thing, still drinking and, you know, acting a fool, you know, the way I was, you know, you know, my, because alcohol was... My, my makeup then, you know, that's the only way I was able to talk to people. So I was drinking, I was drinking a lot, you know. And so one day, you know, she came to me and she kept telling me about, you know, well, you gotta go to church, you gotta go to church. Cause she started this job and the person at the job started telling her about the Lord, but in a way that she understood. Mm -hmm. And so she came home and she stopped tell, started telling me, you gotta go to church. I said, no, you gotta go to church. <laughs> I don't have to go to church. And so she kept on going, she kept on about, and said, okay, I'm going to go. And so I went and it was a nice sermon, nice, nice, nice message. You know, mm -hmm. got back in the car, started drinking and smoking, doing whatever, you know, I did, you know. And so two weeks later, she come back again. Now, she had already planted a seed because it, it wouldn't go away from me, you know, with the, what the minister was saying. So he was watering it. And so she kept on, you know, say, come on, Ron, let's go to church. And so when I went to church that day, my life changed. And I don't know, and I've, and I've probably told this, you know, story, story many times. So I'm sitting in there, you know, we on the balcony. And so the preacher, he's beginning to, you know, share the word. And so at the end of the message, he said, there's a man here that God is calling and God wants to do an awesome and mighty work in his life. And I'll say, well, you can't be talking about me, you know. And so 10 guys came and he walked away from these guys mm -hmm. and he stood on the side. He said, there's a man here that God is calling that God wants to do an awesome, mighty work in his life. Five other guys came down. And then he pointed at the balcony where I was sitting. But when he said that, my whole body started shaking. And I, I felt something that I've never felt before. And I just sat there and I started crying. Pia grabbed me by my hand and we went down to the altar. He came straight to me, laid his hands on me, alcohol, Drugs, all this stuff just disappeared Instantly. like that. Jesus. Praise the Lord. And wow. so when, when you sow a seed, something is going to happen. You know, people say, you know, those people just praying with you just because, you know, because you asked them to pray for you. No, it's a seed. Right. It's a seed that's being sown. Mm. Somebody's going to ward it, but God is going to give the increase. Right. It's going to come. It's going to come to you pass. Can't whether give it's up. a day. No. Cannot give up. Whether it's a day or whether it's tomorrow, it's going to happen. That person's mm -hmm. life has changed. Some people, when they accept the Lord, then they accept them now and their life has changed. Girl, I don't know how mm -hmm. long my mother in law prayed for me, but there was a time that I turned. I know now she was praying for mm -hmm. me, but there was a time when I didn't even know what I was doing and then I was just watching the television. I was rocking my little, my daughter mm -hmm. at the time, she was a year and a half old. Say rocking. We're just in a hotel room because Jesse was a nightclub entertainer. I'm just going back and forth like that. Of course, the TV changes from whatever I was watching. Mm -hmm. They didn't have remote controls back in 1973. And so here I am looking at the TV and it changed to Billy Graham. He came on the television. Mm -hmm. And then I listened to that and I prayed the prayer. My life was totally changed. Mm -hmm. I, and, and, you know, but at that point I started praying for Jesse. 
and I dropped a lot of seeds. I, I watered a lot of seeds. <laughs> yeah. and, and it was almost two years later of that before he prayed the prayer. I remember that day I said, Jesse, uh, Billy Graham is on TV. See, God gives you the words right, to say. Right. Yeah. And you may, even though we have this formula, sometimes even then you could vary. There's right. variations of things the Holy Spirit will lead you to say uh, when you come to someone. So I told Jesse, I said, why don't you watch Billy Graham with me? And he said, why would I want to do that? I said, well, and I'm thinking, and I'm, well, look, he's pulling more people than you are. He has a stadium full of people, mm. pulling more people than you are. He must be saying something. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, that got his attention, and he stopped and he listened. And that seed was had Amen. been planted because I'd been praying, but Billy Graham, Billy Graham put that last dose of water on and yeah. it came up. Amen. It flourished. Amen. He was Amen. supernaturally delivered like you were from uh, alcohol, from uh, drugs, things that he was saying, his lifestyle, totally radical turnaround. And uh, here we are, here is 48 years later, is it? Amen. Yeah. Uh, preaching the gospel Amen. to every Amen. all it's preachers so around the world. Good. There's freedom in the name of Jesus. Yes. I know there's so many people watching. When you shared that story mm -hmm. and you said when that preacher looked up and pointed and said, there's a man up there. Mm -hmm. and initially, you went, well, this can't be me. That was that was right. because probably of the shame or the things that you were doing, God doesn't want anything to do with me. I believe there might, might be some people watching right now feeling that pull. You know, maybe they haven't fully surrendered and they're saying that to themselves. Well, this should, not me. Surely right. he doesn't want me because of all the things I've done. What do you say to those people watching right now who are feeling that tug right. of salvation on their heart? Well, for me, it was proud, proud, being proudful, prideful, you know, and because I thought I had it all together. Even though I was drinking and doing all these things, I thought I still had it together. You know, my life was, you know, it was fine. I didn't have a job. But I still thought my life was fine, but it wasn't, you know, because when you go to bed at night, you realize something's wrong. And so I just want to tell people, I mean, you know, when you go to bed at night, what's on your mind? What's going on in here? Because that's what's important. Because when you sit down by yourself and you recognize that something is wrong with my life, then that emptiness, you know what that emptiness, that emptiness is that you need Jesus in your life. And when you call out upon his name, I didn't I didn't have the opportunity to say, hey, Jesus, be my Lord and Savior. God called me out and he's calling you out today. This is your opportunity. Wherever you are right now. And if you feel that, you know, hey, my life is great. Everything's fine. But when you go to bed at night, there's a change. And I want to encourage you right now. It's not hard. Give your life to the Lord and your life will be changed forevermore. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So if you're there right now and you, need, you, want, you want Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you to say this prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you that Jesus gave his life for me, that he shed his blood for me. And because of that, I call on his name. And I thank you, Lord, that today Jesus is my Lord and my Savior from this day forward in Jesus name. Amen. If you said that prayer, find a find a, a, a God, a God believing church, a word believing church. Get yourself into it and begin to trust God and watch God change your life. He will take your life from where you are to the best life you ever had. Amen. 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 I love that. And if you've prayed that prayer, you could comment too. let us know. Write to us. Let us know you prayed that prayer. We want to show you how you can get salvation booklet so that'll change your yeah. life. We have these, I think it could probably give you a digital link, yeah, Chrissy, how that. they could get that. Yes. So it's so important to have that follow-up. You know, I love the fact that we a simple prayer changes everything. Amen. Sure Amen. You know, we gave God a job today. Amen. <laughs> we sure did. So we, we said, Lord, there are people out there today that, that need Jesus. Yes, and then do. you led, uh, talked to Ron about that and Ron connected. And I believe that your life has been changed. Amen. You know, this is something that you could share with someone else that yeah. maybe needs to hear good news about Jesus. You can share this link and you can let people know. And you could learn from everything we, that Ron has shared today, too, about how you can reach your neighbors and maybe just someone that God has placed upon your heart. It's such a wonderful joy to be Amen. able to know that you've been a part of someone's eternity. Right. Isn't that great? Right. Yes, it is. It is. It I is. love it. I love it. Well, Ron, you're doing. You're involved in so many different aspects of the church. You know, you help us with our men's uh, breakfast mm -hmm. once a month. You, you oversee that, and then you go to the nursing home, which we've mm -hmm. talked about, and then right. the soul winning team. So it's a lot of outreach opportunities that we have at, at the church and and through the ministry. So I just want to say thank you. 
you for all that yes. you do, you your efforts. You. And I know you do it because you love Jesus Amen. and Amen. you care about Amen. people. And I think it, it communicates. Amen. Yeah. How rewarding is it? It's so what did you awesome. think about that? Remember that years ago when I said, Ron, you had, he had worked in the, on the, in the chemical <laughs> plants. Of course, he's always been involved in church, <laughs> was an elder in the church for many since, you know, been to the church That's from so, the mm -hmm. beginning and you've been an elder, you and Pia in the church. And then I said, Ron, are you, well, I would like you to help us with the, with the church. Would mm -hmm. you like to come on staff? He said, yes, right yeah. away. Do you remember that day? You know, wow. some people, when you ask them something, they say, well, let me pray about it. I think you'd already been praying about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, because I asked, I That's asked. Good. So we went out to dinner, you know, so, and I'm in a car, and I, maybe nobody heard me. So I said, you know, do y'all have, I like to volunteer because I got tired because I retired from the chemical plant. So I was sitting at home for almost two years. And so we was in a car, and I said, you know, do y'all have any, you know, work I can volunteer to do? Nobody said a word. Even we, we sat down to eat, nobody said a word about it. And so I was at, <laughs> at the gym. I don't, I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, um, I, you know, I remember now you saying it, but I remember being thoughtful because yeah. I wanted to make sure it was what God wanted. Yeah. yeah. And so you called me. I was at the gym the next morning. She called me. I said, yes. You yeah, know, that's awesome. To my yes. yeah. That's amazing. And you know, God knew that this was going to be the future. How awesome is that? That Amen. He Amen. knew what you were like, even before when you said you couldn't even speak without having that stage fright or just feeling overwhelmed. And now you're speaking to people, walking up to them in Walmarts, Amen. the malls, Amen. leading them on a broadcast to give their lives to the Lord. A miraculous work was done in you. So well, I'm just so grateful I get to be a part of it with you all at the Amen. ministry Amen. and take some of these tools now in my life and reach people in my corner of the world. And change lives. And change lives one soul at a time. One soul at a time. Yeah, thank you so much. And that's what our partners help us to do every single time. We, uh, every day we get yeah. letters and, and donations from our partners that, that want to be a part of what we're doing. You can be a part of that. If you're not already a partner, you can be. Just go to JDM.org. You can use PayPal, text to give, or select giving on the JDM app, or you can mail in your donation. And you can be a part of this soul winning machine mm -hmm. right here at Jesse Duplantis Ministries. We're going into all the world. We're preaching the gospel to every creature and you could be a part of that. Thank you, Ron, so much for sharing all that Thank God's you doing in your life. Amen. I know you're impacting people. We love that testimony we read earlier about yes. how your story before you, we can go and give them that link, how they can yes. watch that again as well, Amen. because that really transformed that family about believing God for their home. There's so many dreams and visions that God has placed up on our heart. Amen. And so I, I love the fact that you're, you're walking through this journey, giving God the glory for all that he's yeah. done. Amen. But Amen. think about what God has ahead. Yes. Yeah. We're Looking just beginning. I'm telling you, we're, we're fired up, ready to oh, go I'm do excited. all that God's called us to do. <laughs> more glorious living programs with more testimonies Amen. of salvations and miraculous things happening. Giving God a job. Giving God a job. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Amen. Well, thank you, Ron. Thank you for coming. I know you'll you're be welcome. back. Amen. It's been wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having thank me you. as well. Thank you. And thank you so much for be joining me today in Studio C. I look forward forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye. You can broadcast the wonderful works of God right where you are. We have been entrusted to see to it that this message gets communicated to everyone everywhere. You could be the one that changes somebody's life. You may not change thousands, but if you change one, that's all that counts. Kathy Duplantis' Glorious, a conference for women, March 7th and 8th, 2025. Hello, Jesse here. I know you've been blessed today and you don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos. That's why you need to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. That notification bell lets you know when we post new videos. So like, subscribe, and hit the bell. See you next time. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.